Hi everyone, welcome to third party API support in WSO2 API Manager. I'm Heshan Sudarshan, a senior software engineer at WSO2. During the session, we'll go through an introduction on third party APIs and how to utilize them. A demonstration on how to create and publish third party APIs. Traditionally, all the APIs in APIM are deployed in API Gateway. Therefore, when an API is invoked, the API request is proxied through API Gateway to the backend. For instances where the API is deployed elsewhere and there is no requirement to deploy it in API Manager, third-party APIs can be used. Therefore, all the external information can be exposed to the developer through API Manager Developer Portal. All the currently supported API types can be converted to third-party APIs apart from the currently supported three streaming APIs. Uh, any API with an async API definition can be imported as third-party APIs as well. There are three new properties added to the API to store the external or third-party APIs. They are external production input, external sandbox input, and external developer portal URL. There are two ways to create a third-party API. First one is to create an API as a regular API and convert it to a third-party API. And the second one is to import an async API definition with the other type from publisher portal. Third-party APIs can be published without a business plan or any endpoint configurations, unlike regular APIs. In Publisher, an indicator is added to the API thumbnail to indicate that the particular API is a third-party API. And for all the APIs, the API can be converted to a third-party API using the highlighted section and the external API information can be provided there as well. This section resides in the basic info page for an API. Let's move to the demonstration. For the demonstration, first I'll go through the process of converting a regular API to a third party API. So I have already created the regular REST API here. Let me navigate to the basic info section. So here you can see there is a radio button to convert the API to a third party API. So when, when you click yes, uh, the third party API properties will be visible. So here are the properties, the external in production endpoint, external sandbox endpoint and the original developer portal URL. So for the sake of demonstration, I had three mock endpoints for, the, for these uh, well, properties. Uh, let me save this and then uh, uh, after saving it you can see that the APIs convert to a third party API. So if we go to the API page we can see that the indicator is added to the uh, API thumbnail to indicate that this is a third party API. So uh, let's go ahead and publish this. So when navigating to the uh, developer portal, uh, you can see in the overview page that uh, the uh, external production endpoint and external sandbox endpoint are visible in the uh, overview page as well as the uh, original developer portal URL. So uh, if this is exposed to a developer, uh, external developer, they can uh, visit the uh, original developer portal in case they are required. Uh, then moving on to the tryout section, uh, you can see when invoking this API, uh, unlike the uh, regular APIs, this API uh, with the ex external production endpoint or the external endpoints will be uh, invoked directly uh, instead of uh, proxying through the uh, API gateway. Uh, the security details are avail available here. 
can be documented uh, in the from the publisher portal under runtime configurations so let's move on to the uh, other option of creating the uh, creating a third party api that is uh, importing an async api so here i have uh, i have a, a sync api definition uh, with uh, amqt protocol So let me import that file. And to the protocol from drop down, uh, I select uh, the other type. So, and I have to provide the uh, endpoint, external endpoint for this uh, API and create the API. So as soon as it is created, you can see that it is created as a third party API. So if we navigate to the basic info section, you can see that this uh, for the uh, other uh, sync type, other sync type APIs, the API cannot be converted to a regular API since other type of uh, APIs are not supported in API manager. So uh, this API will uh, will be served as a third party API. I hope you got a glimpse of the third party API support feature on API. Uh, I invite you to try out this feature along with many other new features available in API 410. Thank you for watching. See you next time.